Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Our hotel attorney, Peter Champagny, says some of the footage from a crucial new movement day closed circuit television recording may have been lost because of the time that has elapsed before it was requested. The footage from the new Kingston-based hotel was captured on September 14, the no movement day on which resigned Agriculture Minister Floyd Green and others attended a birthday party. St. Anne Southeast Member of Parliament Lisa Hanna has warned that tougher times are ahead because of increased shipping costs, which will continue to impact local prices. I think the only thing that hasn't gone up is a respect for politicians in this country. But the truth is we're heading into a serious crisis in terms of prices, in terms of the interest rates. The National Security Ministry is yet to get more than 30 vehicles or be refunded nearly $100 million it paid for used cars for the police that were never received. The botched contractual arrangement between the ministry and O'Brien's international car sales and rentals dates back four years. Staff at several entities in the corporate area had to be sent home early today because of noxious fumes. Employees at the National Housing Trust, the Transport and Mining Ministry, and the NCB South Towers were among those affected. In sports, Olympian Nesta Carter is facing a second anti-doping hearing. The RJR Glina Group understands that Carter will face an independent anti-doping disciplinary panel on Thursday, October 14, after recently testing positive for a banned substance. In your current trading today, it was costing $146.17 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $201.15, and the Canadian dollar for $118.37. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. The afternoon will see widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across sections of central and western parishes. It will also be windy. And that's it for the Daily Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.